Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined now a veteran musician, an icon. What can I say? He's one of the finest right now with one of the hottest bands, which is out again with some amazing music. It's Doug Aldridge from, yes, Dead Days. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good, Dino. Thanks for having me. So who is this uh, iconic guy you were talking about? Because he didn't show up. I'm here. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Glenn Hughes, but we can let him off. We can let him off. But you've got yourself no, no. as well. There's two. No, I... All your group's full of icons. It's, it's crazy. It's like no. a super group. No, I was just joking. I, Glenn is uh, Glenn is just t- taking it easy today. We've had a couple shows in the U.S. and and he's resting up today. But I'm gonna do my best to uh, to fill it up. I've got to say, you've just touched on that. Your shows at the moment in the U.S. You're on a quite a big tour at the moment through September and in August, uh, and you have had some great reactions to the crowd. Do you think this is because of the new fresh sound that the bands brought out to the crowd with the new album coming out at the end of September? What do you think? It's so so. I don't know. It's just it's, it's chaotic. Everybody's going crazy. Well, I mean that's that's good. We don't really we're a little too close to it to know. Um, we're very we're really excited and happy with the record. Um, but you, you, you know, you basically write songs and make records that you think sound good, that good good for you know for you to play, especially for us to play live. That's something that's important. And um, you know, speaking for Glenn and David and Brian. We really love to play live, and and uh, the, making the album was fun. But man, we're having a blast now. I think to touch on your point, we do have a new sound with Glenn. Anytime you change lead singers, you're going to get a new sound, and it's exciting to, to mm. have those changes. You know, mm. completely agree. And the new, you know, I've been I've been listening to this single uh, "Face Your Fear," which is uh, off the new album "Radiance," which comes out in September. And again, I've just touched on like we've just mentioned freshness, the new sound. Um, what was it like sitting down with all you guys? Where did the songs come? Because Glenn, he's got his solo stuff. You guys have got your yeah. own thing, what goes on. You know, what was it? What was the idea? What was, right, I've got a song here, and then somebody else brings a song. How did it all develop into this album? Well, it, it's interesting, because this album started, Glenn and I started getting together in the, the summer of 2020, when, when in Los Angeles it was all locked down, mm. like everywhere. And so you couldn't really go anywhere, nothing was open. But Glenn said, hey, I got a few ideas I'd like to work on with you. And um, so I brought my, my travel recording rig to his house and we started, you know, banging through stuff and just making these demos that were pretty good, you know. And we did about, we, we, we worked on about 10 songs together. Wow. And, um, and then we kind of put it on ice because then we were gearing up for a tour with, with the Dead Daisies in the end of 2021. Um, we well actually we did some dates in the summer in the U.S. And then we came to the U.K. In, in, in the end of the year, it was September. I can't remember when it was, but um, we didn't really have plans to make this record. But all of a sudden, our tour that was supposed to start in February of this year got canceled right at the last minute. Omicron uh, not blew it out, so we decided, hey, let's let's go in. We've got a few songs already. We wrote about six or seven more songs. And uh, we met up with Ben Gross, the producer, and presented the songs. And he's like, we, we, we've got everything we need here, basically. Let's, let's uh, get busy. And we worked up until we left for the Europe tour uh, in May. We finally got this, this record wrapped up, and, and here you go. It's incredible. And again, you've got a lineup, and, it, and it, I know it's all cliche to say all oh, supergroup because you can label a bunch of musicians, what's veteran, and have played with everybody a supergroup. But you really are a supergroup because you've all been around the block for years. You've all played with the biggest, the best. You've been in there and seen it. What makes this any different to, to, to the past bands? You know, what, what's the difference? Because there's definitely something there what I can see. Well, we, we don't think of ourselves like that. We, I mean, it's closer that you call us a soup group because we all love soup. But, um, <laughs> I, but I say I think we all are just friends. We, we yeah. we've known each other for years, playing in different bands, and you know, um, with White Snake and Deep Purple, and and under the umbrella of Mr. Blackmore, uh, we all have, we all met and and worked together, and it just uh, it's nothing different than any other band the way we see it. Mm-hmm. We're just just got. I mean, like, and to and to go back to the other point, like, how do the songs come about, like? sometimes it'll be Glenn that initiates it and then I'll, I'll help him out with it on top of that. Uh, other times I'll bring in, a, I'll bring in a song to present to Glenn. Cause basically that's what I do is I, I present 
like I did with David Coverdale, I would present ideas that I think he's going to like. Mm. And if he wants to, if he wants to, we can, uh, we can work on it. And if he doesn't want to, I just stick it in the back burner. But, um, I, overall, we all kind of get a chance to put our stamp on, on everything. No, it's, it's crazy. And, and again, you know, the tour, you took off with the, with the album. 10 minutes. And, um, you took off with the album. Everything was, again, fresh. Nobody have heard the album. Have you been hitting these songs hard while you've been on the road, or has it just been a mix-up of everything from way back when Dead Daisies began? You know, back in two thousand and twelve. What, what, what's the what's the what's the set idea? Do you put in music from other bands? How do you choose it? Well, well, now, which is really interesting, it's a good question. Now we are because we've released four singles from Radiance, and it, it, even though the album's not out, mm. it's kind of this new way, it's this new way to pr- promote a record where you release a single like three months before, yeah. and then another single, and then by the time the album's out, people have got a good taste of it. Um, so we've, we've been playing all those songs live in this, this summer in the set. We were playing, the uh, first single was um, the title track, Radiance, which went over amazing. It's a very simple, dark riff that opens up into a nice melodic chorus. Shine On is just a, a great live track, you know, high energy. Then we had Hypnotize Yourself, which is um, dead simple and a really, you know, really simple classic kind of riff. And now we got Face You Fear. So those four songs are in the set. And then four songs from the previous album with mm-hmm. Glenn, Holy Ground, are in the set. And we were doing a couple of Deep Purple songs where Glenn can stretch and we're doing them, you know, kind of in a, a fresh new way, which is with two guitars, you know, because mm-hmm. it's usually with two, it's usually guitar and keyboards, but it's, it sounds freaking great. It's really, I can't, I'm not just saying that because I'm in the band, but I, I really like how, what David Lowy brings to it on these songs and Glenn singing differently than, than he would with, you know, his own band or Black Country or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's cool. And then we have, you know, we, we put in, a sprinkle of the, the history of the daisies are, you know, depending on the show, mm-hmm. we kind of tailor it to, to that. It's like we're playing, we played a festival the other day that was all super heavy bands. So we, we basically went with stuff like Rise Up and, um, you know, the heavier songs. Mm. Um, but um, when we come to the UK later this year, we'll be, we'll be doing, um, featuring the new album the most probably. Brilliant stuff. And again, you've got a diehard fan base. Why do you think these... Because again, people could just drop their hat and leave it and think, oh, here's another lineup, here's another lineup, here's another lineup, whatever. Why do you think this fan base is so hardcore and just keep coming back for more? You know, and this is not an egomatic uh, thing, What you know, to go a, a question. You know, what do you generally believe? What's the reason? Why do you think these guys are just keep coming back? Well, we're still trying to build it, you know. I mean, yeah. we, we, you know, when you when you make, I mean, I'll be dead honest with you. When you make a change in a band, especially lead singer, you, you're going to lose some fans. I mean, there's no getting around it. Yeah. And then when you bring in a new a new guy, you're going to gain some other fans. Uh, and generally, I don't think that people really love change that much because yeah. they want to. They, they like what they like. Yeah. You know? They want to count on it. But the way that this band was, you know, put together and started off was to be a roundabout, like a carousel almost, where people jump on and, and leave their mark and then they split. And that's what's been happening. And, you know, now we're at, uh, like, kind of like Deep Purple. Mm-hmm. So now we're at, like, Mark Three, where Purple was Mark Three with David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes. Now we're the Dead Daisies Mark Three with yeah. Glenn Hughes. So we just we just basically stay in the moment. We're enjoying what we're doing. We want to promote this album and, and keep going as long as as long as people will keep coming. Do you think? Well, uh, you don't need to think because you know it, the songs. Like you say, you've had, you've got your added touches. You've got your extra guitar stuff. You've got Glenn's voice singing a mixture of songs, and and the maturity of the band is obviously huge, uh, but. Glenn's voice just holds up so much it's incredible for his age he's been around the block if people didn't know what his backstory is you know the guy is lucky to be here he'll probably say that you know he parted hard he's one of the hardest and he sounds incredible you know and do you have nights where you just look at each other and smile and think what what are we doing (laughs) this is you know what's going on 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not, especially especially what you're saying is, is Glenn takes really c- good care of his of his voice. Of course, he's he's blessed that his his voice hasn't changed too much. Yeah. a lot of guys, even if they even if they take care of it, it still changes. But he's kind of a freak of nature, and he really does pre- you know drink a lot of water, gets a lot of rest. Uh, he's um you know he, he eats well. The guy looks amazing. Yeah, you know, he does. And he's he's a ferocious bass player as well. Uh, and yes, there are certain nights. I mean, Glenn's always on, but there are certain nights that he transcends the stage, and, he's, and you look, and he's like his feet are off the stage; he's just floating. But I gotta say, I gotta put credit too where it's where it's due is um, Brian Tishy coming into the band really, really lifted this whole thing, especially live. I mean, for people that know Brian, and a lot of people in the UK do, um, everybody in the UK knows Brian from Whitesnake, but. Um, he is just a powerhouse, but he's got the best groove you could ever want. Um, and Glenn and I always talk about like, hey, you know, Glenn will go, you know me, I've worked with all the drummers, I've worked with everybody, and I've worked with so many drummers from Carmine Apathy to, mm. to Ainsley Dunbar to, to Jason Bonham, Tommy Aldridge, mm-hmm. and Simon Phillips, all these guys. And Brian is my favorite. There's no question. I, mm. I mean, look, when, when Brian left the Dead Daisies for a little while, and that's what I mean by a roundabout, he, yeah. he jumped off and then he jumped back jumped back in. When he jumped off, I really, nobody in the audience probably noticed it, but I felt it. It wasn't yeah. the same, you know. It, it, and when he jumped back in, it was like, how a fucking movie. Yeah. You know? It was great, great. That's awesome. I've got to say, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure sitting down with you, Doug, and talking about the stories and, and the music and everything which is happening. You know, ladies and gentlemen, check out the website. Everything is on the social medias. Um, and it's it's just a great sound. And I'm not just saying that. I don't just say I'm a music fan. And for a music fan to, to hear something fresh, it's about time because people are still carrying the torch of rock and roll. And I love that. Yeah, I do too. We appreciate what you do, Dino. And, and we, you know, we're looking forward so much to coming back to the UK later this year. We, we've got some, uh, so we've got uh, Northern Ireland and Dublin, and we got Scotland, um, as well as the UK, as well as England. And uh, man, we just can't wait to get back. Uh, last time we were there, it was it was insane. Mm-hmm. It was so great. Um, so we'll we'll look forward to seeing you guys, and, and want you guys to check out, out the album. There's no. If, once you get the album, you realize there's no filler. Uh, it, it's all stuff that we really care about and we put our heart into. And also, the good news is, is that we didn't we didn't record just ten, the ten songs that are on the album or the CD. We recorded thirteen, mm-hmm. and there's uh, those will be coming out as well. One of those tracks is a really amazing ballad that I think people will love. And uh, and then we've got a dead crazy heavy track that's just like just demonic. <laughs> so those two aren't on the album just because we we had a flow going on the album that we wanted to maintain but those songs will come out awesome well ladies and gentlemen check it out album out september we'll see you on the uk we'll see you in the states it is doug aldridge from yes the iconic band it is dead daisies thank you so much thank you brother